Chicago, Chicago. I mean, what have you done? <laughs> Kirby Doc has become a beast unleashed. Chicago better hope they get Connor Bedard now. How much fun has it been to watch this guy play lately? Kirby Doc has been absolutely outstanding, bringing new elements to his game. His physicality has gone up about, I don't know. We saw Kirby realize the size, the strength that he has more recently in games by dishing out the body a bit more, just being more physical as a whole, being stronger on the puck. But did you guys know he could fight? It was basically a TKO on Andrew Kopp. And I mean, like, Andrew Kopp's a veteran player. And I don't know, man. I just, I did not see that coming. Can I be 100% honest with you guys? I did not see or hear about the fight until after the game on Twitter. And by the way, I did watch the whole game because I recorded it. But I didn't actually find out it happened because sometimes I fast forward commercials as one does when not wanting to sit through a bunch of commercials on a recorded game. I saw Kirby Doc in the penalty box and I still had no idea why. But apparently this fight happened very, very early into the period. So I missed it. So what did Kirby actually say after the game? Well, this quote coming from Arpin Basu, I didn't like a few of the plays that happened to me in the first, so I was a bit angry and they didn't like the way I handled that. It's business out there. I'm not looking to fight every night, but I'm also not afraid to get in there and play hard, play heavy. Yeah, thanks, Curb. We noticed. All right, now we got to talk about some RHP. So Raphael Harvey Pinard coming into this game and the line with Belzeal, Pen Harvey Pinard, and Pizzetta has been... Amazing. They played really, really well against Toronto. They were difference makers. They helped tie that game and ultimately got the Habs to winning that game, eventually pushing it to overtime. Harvey Pinar was on another level last night. And listen, if you guys haven't seen Ninja Turtles 1 from 1990, you're not going to get this reference. But I had, I thought of this movie line last night and I love it. I'll try to do my best impression of Michelangelo right now. So here's the scene. Michelangelo is caught up by the Foot Clan in Ninja Turtles. And then he proceeds to say, I think we could really use Raph right about now. Not my best impression, but that's okay. The way things were going for the Habs this season, I mean, there were some people clamoring, especially my friend and Nick from Habs tonight, that Harvey Pinard could have easily made the roster out of Habs camp. He did not, but now you can see that maybe they kind of need him. Yes, they obviously need him with a very, very depleted lineup, but the skill set, we saw some talent, some talent last night from Harvey Pinard. Did I mention, by the way, that the Laval Rocket line of Harvey Pinard Belzeal and Pizzetta accounted for all, all of the Habs goals last night. <laughs> Harvey Pinard finishing this game with two goals and an assist. Alex Belzeal getting the second star with two assists. And then, of course, Pizzetta with a goal and an assist himself. Kirby Doc was a goal away from a Gordy Howe hat trick in this game, but nonetheless, we're not disappointed with that performance. Habs were so close to reversing the curse of the retro, hence why I got my retro on, my more preferred retro. Uh, but anyway, the Habs were so close to actually finally getting a W with those with those jerseys on. But you know what? This was the most entertaining loss of the season by a long shot. To be perfectly honest, I thought the first period was kind of a bit of a sleeper other than Pizzetta's goal. And, you know, the Habs were playing okay and stuck sticking to their game. But it wasn't that entertaining of a game until we got to the second and third period. And then it really, really took off. Do you guys even remember the last time we had a shorthanded goal? Because I certainly don't. And the Habs uh, on a play, uh, we, we saw also in this game how there was a very, very well-missed high stick and call on Mike Matheson, which on the same very, very same play is where Harvey Pinard went the other way with Kirby Doc and got that beautiful shorthanded goal. But either way, it happens. Certainly a missed call. And the name of the player is escaping me on Detroit. Forgive me. But uh, he was leaking pretty good. So either way, in the end, the Red Wings get the W. And I think that's all that matters for them. Pretty bad missed call, though, with all the refereeing complaints around the league lately. That was a bad one to miss, though. Another player we got to talk about, too, is Arbor Jack Guy. The way he's been asserting himself, I love Jack Guy's sneaky wrister. You guys have seen it on some of the goals that he scored, but he's got that sneaky wrister. He plays so physical and smart, and you just not drafted in the OHL, not drafted in the NHL. It makes no sense. Jake Allen made a return to this game after a while, and you know what? Jake played pretty good. You can't really fault him. I mean... Likely not part of the Habs long term, which he acknowledged in his pregame media availability, but hats off to Jake Allen being able to come in and not rush Caden Prevo back in when maybe he's just not ready still yet. Did you guys have Ryan Paling vibes when Harvey Pinard was on the ice trying to get his third goal? Because every time he was on the ice after having scored his second goal, you could just tell that the fans were just feeling it and just wanting that hat trick for Harvey Pinard so bad. And the Habs even got to overtime, had a power play in overtime, and couldn't capitalize. Mike Hoffman got the puck 
just right beside the net to Harvey Pinard, and he wasn't able to bury it for the hat trick. But man, that would have been a moment for Harvey Pinard. He's worked so hard. And while we're at it, let's share an interesting stat about Harvey Pinard again, too. From Stu Cowan, Raphael Harvey Pinard now has as many goals, three, with the Habs this season as Yoel Armia. Harvey Pinard also has one more goal than Jake Evans and three more than Jonathan Duran. Harvey Pinard has played five games with the Habs. Pretty outstanding stuff. Well, I had to talk about this game regardless of uh, where we're at in the season and uh, whether your interest in these videos is high or low. For those of you that have showed up, I thank you very much. But this was a fun game to talk about. And it's their best game played in those uh, powder blue reverse retros. So you got to... You got to talk about it. And there was so much to talk about, like I said. So thank you guys for watching as always. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.